Wines and Money in London. I'm here with Bryce Bradley, the CEO of Thunderstruck Resources. Bryce, thank you for joining yeah, us thank today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, give our viewers a quick introduction to Thunderstruck Resources and your projects. Sure. We have amassed four properties of highly prolific and high-grade zinc, copper, and gold assets in Fiji, of all places. I know. And uh, we own them 100%. They're permitted. And, and we spent 2018 was our first year actually getting on the land, uh, meeting all of the villagers, etc., getting our crew together. And 2019 is going to be very exciting because we, we've, we, uh, we did some preliminary work this year on our two zinc copper uh, VMS assets. We have a copper porphyry and we also have a gold asset. We are now ready to entertain joint venture partners. And so we'll be doing that over the coming months. We're going to keep the gold one for ourselves and, and continue to explore on that one. And uh, we just did a geophysical program. We're in the process of doing one now. Uh, should be done by Christmas. Then it's rainy season until March, so we can assess the data, hopefully delineate drill targets for next year. So uh, Anglo had drilled them back in the late 70s. And Fiji's not, you know, not a jurisdiction people usually think of for mining, right? I did not even, I didn't even know it was, but it's been mining for almost 100 years now. There's two gold mines uh, on the island. One's been mining nearly 100 years, still has 4 million ounces in it. And uh, another one's going into production in the next year or two. And so I think it's, and it sits on the ring of fire where we have the world's largest copper and uh, gold mines, as most people know. I think that Fiji's been left out of the picture because because of its remoteness, mm -hmm. which is a good thing for us and for Thunderstruck because now that it, it has all of the infrastructure, deep water port, hydroelectric dam, uh, a long, now a long mining history, which gives uh, which gives us skilled labor, mm -hmm. skilled workforce. Mm -hmm. So we, I think we picked up the best assets in the island, and it, um, uh, we were hoping that one or more of these is going to be a, or will be a mine. Uh, we haven't, uh, we own out nearly four percent of the island now. So um, talk to us a bit more about the gold project, because that sounds like the focus for the company. What are you planning on doing there in 2019? 2019, we are hoping that we're going to uh, review the data that from all the work we did. We did some geochemical work and some geo, we're about to do geophysical sampling. Um, we're hoping that we can delineate drill targets and do a drill program. We own our own drill uh, uh, that can go, you know, shallow f up to 100 meters. Mm -hmm. If we want to do a deeper drill, diamond drill program, then we'll bring one in. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that's what we're going to do in 2019. Mm -hmm. The other two, uh, the, we're also going to do it on the copper porphyry, so the gold and the copper mm -hmm. porphyry. The two VMS, high-grade zinc copper VMS assets, we're, we're we're going to wait and see what happens, what pans out with our joint venture uh, opportunities that are now uh, on our plate. So this is all, it's all, it's all good. There's mm -hmm. lots of really good things. People there are wonderful, easy to work with. Mm -hmm. Government's very mining friendly. Mm -hmm. So overall, it's just, it's just a great just jurisdiction for us. And, and infrastructure wise, you know, it's, it's easy to find the skilled labor and yeah. it's, there's, yeah. There's yeah. Paved roads mm -hmm. uh, going right up to one of our properties. Uh, another one, we just built the road in 2018. So a lot of, 2018 was spent just s assessing what we have, you know, and who, who do we want to put in place? Who are we, you know, hire to do this and that uh, and, and fix some of the infrastructure. So we built a 10 kilometer road into our copper porphyry. That's done, I think, today or this. Yeah, I think it's done today, actually. That took a while, but okay, it's done. <laughs> so now we can easily get trucks in there to do uh, larger programs and the drills and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, um, Bryce, what do you want our viewers to really know about, you know, the potential of Fiji and mining in Fiji? Yeah, like as far as the potential in Fiji, I mean, it has a lot of mining already on it that we that uh, that investors wouldn't even be aware of. Like that gold mine to the north, uh, it's owned privately by a, a Jap uh, by a Chinese, so you don't get any news flow on that sort of thing. There's a bauxite mine also owned by a, a whole bunch of things that are owned by the Chinese who do not report yeah. what what it is they're doing. Uh, I think that Thunderstruck has f first mover advantage on the best. Um, assets in the country uh, precisely because uh, nobody was really there for a long time and uh, they have a full democracy they adhere to British mining law they were colonized a long time ago so that they have a, a British they use the British Mining Act so um, I think that we picked up the best assets now would be a good time to buy Thunderstruck, especially now before the year end, if there's tax loss selling, et cetera, et cetera. It's before we've announced any huge deal that hopefully would be a, it would be a game changer for us. 
but some of the big companies are, are wanting to get back in. Newcrest owns the copper porphyry next to us. Mitsubishi is a big Japanese metals trading company. They're in there. So there's then the big boys are starting to come back in again. Yeah about we're there first, yeah, so, absolutely. yeah. So Bryce, if we wanted to buy shares in uh, in Thunderstruck, where do we go? Oh yes, that would help, <laughs> wouldn't it? Right, guess, no, it's a, our symbol is, we're on the TSX Venture, AWE is the symbol, and we recently listed down in the US on the OTCQB, uh, and the symbol for that is T-H-U-R-F, THURF. Uh, on the Venture, it's AWE, A-W-E as in awesome, I'm hoping we will live up to that name, <laughs> and uh, they can go there to buy. Bryce, thank you so much for uh, for educating us about some of the mining potential in Fiji. Thank you very much. Bye. Pleasure. Thanks.